And the final and most important way uh, scaling gets triggered within an auto scaling group is scaling policies. And there's three different types of scaling policies. And we'll start with target tracking scaling policy. And what that does is it maintains a specific metric at a target value. What does that mean? Well, down here, we can choose a metric type. And so we'd say average CPU utilization. And if it were to exceed our target value, and we'd set our target value to 75% here, then we could tell it to add another server, okay? Whenever we're adding stuff, that means we're scaling out. Whenever we are removing instances, we're moving servers, then we're scaling in, okay? The second type of scaling policy is simple scaling policy. And this scales when an alarm is breached. So we create whatever alarm we want and we would choose it here and we can tell it to scale out by adding instances or scale in by removing instances. Now, this scaling policy is no longer recommended because it's a legacy policy. And now we have a new policy that is similar but more robust to replace this one, you could still use it, but you know it's not recommended and it's still in the console. But let's look at the one that replaces it called scaling policies with steps. So same concept, you uh, scale based on a, uh, when alarm is breached, but it can escalate based on the alarm's value, uh, which changes over time. So before where you just had a single value, here we could say, well, uh, if we have this, um, this alarm and the value is between one and two, then add one instance. And then when it goes between two and three, then add another instance. Or when it exceeds three to beyond, then add another instance. So you can, um, uh, it helps you grow based on that uh, alarm, that alarm as it changes, okay?